So I recently been to a commercial where I had to shoot everything in under four hours. And it also had to look cinematic and we also had ton of content to cover. So therefore, today I'm gonna show you what I did in order to finish everything in time and make the commercial look really good. So number one, I had two camera setups. I had a gimbal setup and I also had a handheld setup. The gimbal setup consisted in the Sony a7S III with a DJI Ronin RS2 and a 16-35 to from Sony with an ND on. I knew that I needed autofocus, I couldn't lose time with focus pulling, I couldn't lose time with trying to pull focus by myself, so autofocus was kind of crucial in this situation. For the handheld camera, I had a Zcam E2 F6 with Vespid Primes because I wanted to have that gorgeous cinematic look. The Vespid Primes are great, I have everything I need in my Vespid set, so therefore I was switching between lenses pretty fast without losing time. The reason why I went with a two camera setup, even though for some people this might be very hard to obtain, you guys might have only one camera and one lens, but uh, for me I had this possibility and I uh, took advantage of it because if I had to switch from the gimbal setup to the handheld setup and put my handheld rigs and all that, I could have lost at least 10 minutes per switch. The second thing that I did in order to make things go fast is I planned my shoot in advance. So I kind of knew what shots I needed to take. I didn't have a storyboard, but I had a very good idea on what I had to shoot. I was also talking consistently with the director to make sure we are on track and we are filming the exact things that we needed to shoot. So having a good plan before you go to a shoot is very important and will make things way easier. And for me, after a few years of filmmaking, I kind of make the movie in my head before going there. So. Whenever I go, get to a location, I kind of know exactly in my head what shots I need to take in order to make the final edit work. Number three, which is really important for me, in order to make things look cinematic, I always like to light my sets. But sometimes lighting a set can be very time consuming and you lose a lot of time putting lights, making sure the lights look good and all that. So. For me to work faster in an environment that I needed light because there were a lot of weird things going on in that location. For example, there were some kind of umbrellas that were colored and whenever sun hit the umbrellas I was having uh, that color reflected on our actors faces. So for me to avoid that I was filling the whole thing with light. So I had a mix panel 150 from Nanlite which was really powerful and was running on battery. So this is my third advice. Use battery power lights. This will save you a lot of time on set and it will make your life so much easier. You will not have to search for power supplies. You'll not have to worry about cables going in the set and might hurt people or might get in your shots and you will not have to worry about if something is not the way you like you have to move the whole setup and whenever you move a setup that is on batteries you don't have to struggle with uh, cable management again or finding a different power source or anything like that. For me having a really reliable power so source of lighting on my set is very important and also a lighting source that can be powered with batteries. Number four is also related to cinematography because whenever you go filming make sure to always have diffusion and negative fills. For us when we filmed the phones for the commercial I didn't want to have green screen on the phone so I kind of have to replace it later in post. We kind of did everything on camera so uh, we save time even on the edit so therefore we used a negative feel to annihilate every reflection that was on the phone so that was really effective and um, I'm really happy that I always bring with me diffusion and negative feel. So number five is don't overdo things or don't overshoot. 
This is a common mistake that we all tend to do when we are stressed or when we are uncertain about a shot. Uh, most of the time you end up using your first shot and this happens to me a lot. So whenever I'm in a hurry on a set, I always try to take one or two takes and that's it because I know that one of my first takes is going to be always the best. So uh, don't overshoot. Overshooting will take you a lot of time, will make you frustrated and will make you lose a lot of time again. So number six is a thing that I always do whenever I go on set and I end up having a location that I don't like so much. And to avoid showing the location too much in your shot or to avoid um, showing stuff from the background in your shot, I always use longer lenses with um, wider f-stop. So um, use like a 50 millimeter f1.4 or like an 85 1.4 so with these lenses you will have like a really cinematic effect and you will end up having your background blurry and not show up uh, its flaws or its bad looking things like for example I'm using right now a lens that has an f1.2 so you can not really see what's in the background so I can have things on my desk and you can really realize what they are so this is like a thing that I think it's kind of a trick that helps you um, make more cinematic images and also avoid uh, having a lot of things unwanted in your shots. So with all this being said, I think I kind of covered up uh, everything I wanted to tell you guys today. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I also wished I kind of made a more in-depth behind the scenes video from this commercial, but Unfortunately, it wasn't released, so I couldn't use too many footages from this video. So that's why I'm doing uh, something different this time. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me down some comments and I'm going to try to make similar videos with tips uh, next time. So um, until next time, make sure to have some fun, uh, be creative and apply this uh, advice if it was helpful. Cheers! Stop.